the past few years, there have been a lot of manufacturers coming out with different follow focuses and sort of the lower end, medium end of the market. But we haven't seen anything new in the high end follow focus market till now. O'Connor has entered the camera accessory world with uh, this is their first product. This is the CFF1, which is a dual, very nice, high quality, dual sided follow focus. Now, what O'Connor is bringing to the mix is well, first thing you look at that right up here look how look at the clearance space here normally a follow focus has the bar that goes the crossbar comes out at the center of the knob and goes across from there and that leads to clearance issues for big fat lenses sometimes you just can't get past them so they have lowered the rod and put it an offset here and that way you get a lot of room for your modern zooms and certain anamorphics and other lenses uh, now it attaches to the rods via this bridge and this bridge is adjustable for 19 or 15 so now you don't have to get two different bridges if you want 19 or 15 you don't have to decide it comes all as one and this whole piece can slide off and be replaced by a bridge for lightweight 15 so that you have the option all three simple design you also have great versatility in the actual gear arm so this is a standard kind of gear arm that's adjustable and tiltable it, you can mount the gear itself on this side, you can mount it on this side of the arm, or you can take the entire gear arm off and put it on this side. So now you have a great range of where you're going to put that because, again, you have to get it out of the way of mat boxes and sometimes clear other accessories that you have on the limited rod space in front of the, on the front of the camera. And there's even another option, which I find quite clever. If I take off the arm assembly itself, and I'll just take off the gear right here. And you will see that right here where that arm attached, I can put the gear directly on there. Now, I probably wouldn't do it with a gear this size, probably do it with a larger one, because now I loosen this assembly and I can just slide that on over, come right up against my big fat lens now my gear is way down here. My marks are up here, so I don't have anything blocking my view. You know, sometimes with the arms, they swing in, and you can't even see your reference mark because the gear is in the way of the arm. And I can even take this and lower it down. Now my knob's way down here. My lens is up here. My gear is here. I got all the view in the world. I can see everything. You know, if you don't want like that, you can swing it back up, whatever. But it's versatile. You can set it up however you want. It's going to also have standard accessories. Here's this piece uh, an extension for the hand grip. They have flat discs. They'll have cone-shaped discs as well. So you'll have. They'll even have a uh, a glow-in-the-dark one, a self-illuminated one. So you'll have all the standard uh, options. You'll have be able to attach a whip or a or a uh, speed crank. Very versatile new follow focus coming quite soon from O'Connor, the CFF1.